The Guam Animals in Need shelter was in private talks with Governor Felix Camacho's staff this week. At issue was an ongoing dispute involving the shelter, Gov Guam, and a local crematory operator over the Camacho administration's deal with the crematory for burning the shelter's euthanized dogs and cats. The deal will take up to $15,000 out of Gaines roughly $100,000 budget to pay for the cremations at a time when the shelter is already operating at a funding loss each year. And as a result, Gain officials are now refusing to sign off on the financial paperwork for the plan, saying GovGuam failed to follow procurement procedures when putting the deal together by never comparing the crematory's prices with other options. Moreover, they say the deal is unnecessary because Gain's dead animals are already taken to the Ordot dump, and the federal receiver in charge of the dump, GBB's David Manning, has said he approves of Gain's disposal methods. But Gain representatives say the crematory's owner, Dennis Larson, is nonetheless pressuring them to move ahead with the plan. Two weeks ago, we received a requested certification of contract for 80000 and 15000 was being taken out. And we thought, well, what is that for? We've been told by Dennis Larson that that 15000 is for him to cremate animals and that we're not going to get a penny of our money until we agree to $15,000 for Mr. Larson. However, Larson takes issue with Gaines' complaints about the deal and says GovGuam's plans to use his crematory will prove beneficial to the island. It has nothing to do with any sweetheart deal, so to speak. Um, what I offer is good. It's good for the environment. It's good for the people of Guam. It's, uh, it's, it's not arguable. It, it has nothing to do with, you know, what's good for me or what's good for the, the government. This is just good for the island of Guam. Nevertheless, Gain is not budging on the deal. They say they have no plans to sign off on the cremations. The money they add would be better spent on other needs. One thing we're not going to do is we're not going to sign that re-verification of funds so that Mr. Larson can get $15,000 to cremate animals because we have live animals to take care of. And if the government has 15000 I suggest they give it to us for the live animals because we've not seen a penny. Meanwhile, Gain officials note the thousands of dollars the deal will cost the shelter is a loss they can't afford. The shelter's expenses were far more last year than what lawmakers and the government appropriated for it, and much of Gain's other money is also tied up in dedicated funds it can only use for specific purposes under the law. Stefan Sebastian, PNC News.